blowing things up real good. This is Daily Planet. Hi, welcome to Daily Planet. I'm Jay Ingram. And I'm Natasha Stilwell on the show tonight, bracing for another one. A revolution in the world of glass. We show you a way to prevent it from shattering when an explosion happens right next to it. Windows are one of the most vulnerable parts of your home. They're easy to break, and that's exactly what most thieves do to get in. They're also extremely dangerous. An explosion near a window can send shards of broken glass flying through the air. And now one Canadian company has found a way of making windows a whole lot safer to be around. In just a few minutes, this van will be blown to smithereens. It's being wired with a powerful car bomb. Same kind of bomb that kills and maims innocent people in Israel, Iraq, and elsewhere. The architect of this destruction is Ottawa businessman Peter Fabian. A typical bomb in a car in Israel is three to five sticks. And the FBI protocol is 30 feet or 10 sticks at 20 feet. So we're going to the, the extreme maximum on this. So it's, it's going to be violent. <laughs> it's going to be violent. <laughs> Peter Fabian was right. The explosion was violent. The van was completely destroyed. Large chunks of metal were sent hurtling in all directions. If this had been a crowded street, there would have been carnage. But look at this. Three large glass windows, 20 feet from the blast, shattered, but didn't break. Anyone sitting behind that glass would have survived. And that's what Peter Fabian was trying to prove. If you look at these, these daggers, these are sharp. If there wasn't laminate, if ace wasn't on this window, all those dagger-type shards of glass would impale the person on the other side and just literally rip you to shreds. There's no hope of survival. The windows are covered with ace security laminate thin polyester film applied to windows to make them blast proof. Our product on quarter inch glass will resist 2,500 pounds of explosives at a distance of 180 feet. That's unheard of in the industry. No one can match that. The product isn't new. It's already covering windows of some high profile and high risk buildings around the world, like the West Wing of the Canadian Parliament buildings and the Justice Building nearby. Retailers who want to secure their windows against thieves and vandals also use it. But Fabian and his team want it on a lot more buildings, so he's invited potential customers to a quarry near Ottawa for a demonstration. Seeing is believing with this product. You can look at a test spec, you can look at a computer simulation in the laboratory, you can look at a fancy video. The fact is, seeing is believing. This is an unadulterated live demonstration. He shows them that a window treated with his product can stand up to an intruder with a baseball bat. That it can withstand a blast from a 12-gauge shotgun. And that it can survive a Molotov cocktail thrown from point-blank range. And just to drive the point home, he shows them what kind of damage a Molotov cocktail could do to a car window without his product's protection. Just don't ask him to tell you what makes his product so tough. So how do you do that? That's proprietary. <laughs> that is right there. There's um, it's IP. I'm not going to go there. No, it's just too too the too, too sensitive. Here is what he will share. Ace is made up of several layers of polyester laminated together with a super strong adhesive. But the key is this. Once those layers are bound to each other, they go through a process called annealing. The same process used on forged steel to return strength to it after it's been heated. When you forge metal or whatever, you put stresses into that material. Uh, and essentially, um, you then go through a annealing process where you reheat it and the molecules are essentially aligned again 
to increase the strength, basically bringing the strength back to the material. We have managed to develop that with the polyester films. The security laminate is simply glued onto an existing window. It's completely transparent, scratch proof, and absolutely tenacious at holding windows together. And if the van bomb didn't make that point well enough, the team at ACE is going to take things one step further today. The shattered windows get replaced with fresh ones, and then a car is placed 20 feet away from them, packed with 15 sticks of dynamite. Half a stick is about as powerful as a hand grenade. 15 sticks is a tremendous amount of explosives. Once the car is wired, spectators are taken to a safe observation point from where they can see firsthand what a few hundred dollars worth of window coating can withstand. Again, the car is blown to bits. Metal fragments from it become shrapnel. They're propelled rapidly outwards from the blast, along with a powerful shock wave. The windows coated with ACE do shatter, but the way they shattered ensures that none of the energy directed at them makes it out the other side. And as that uh, energy wave is hitting the glass, normally, as soon as that glass cracks, it has to eject somewhere and it enters the building. Um, because of the aggressive adhesive that we have and the way that we have made the product more supple than anybody else on the market, essentially it can react to that blast. You can see that the, um, the glass will bend in, the laminate will take that force and essentially distribute that energy across the entire pane of glass. Today's demonstration was designed to impress buyers and by all accounts, did. It's quite astonishing. I've never seen a product like it. They've proven to me that uh, it's, it's a real good product. It's very impressive, I have to admit. As the fear of terrorism grows, so does the market for products that can protect you. ACE would like to see its product become a required part of new building construction. With demonstrations like today's, that could be a very realistic goal.